the worst Happy Meal toys. Stepometers. A health-conscious 2004 campaign by McDonald's introduced the idea of the adult Happy Meal, which went over about as poorly as you'd expect. Along with a box containing water and a salad, each buyer was treated to a McDonald's brand stepometer. For a brand that typically has a firm handle on target demographics, this was a major misstep. Putting aside the poor functionality of the stepometers, this idea managed to alienate adult customers who didn't want to order a Happy Meal and young Happy Meal buyers who weren't exactly snared in by the idea of a device intended to count your steps. The Ronald McDonald Glove Puppet Even McDonald's seemed too embarrassed by the quality of their Ronald McDonald Glove Puppet to really get behind it as a Happy Meal toy, with most locations simply using it as a backup in the event they ran out of the real toy. And who can blame them? The puppets looked like hastily put together scribbled drawings, barely resembling the McDonaldland characters they were purported to depict. Beyond the cheap manufacturing, what were kids actually supposed to do with a cheap piece of plastic for your hand? Even they could sense that this wasn't exactly the best that McDonald's had to offer. Nutritional Books in 2013, McDonald's announced they would replace its usual Happy Meal toy fair with nutrition-oriented books. Mercifully, this was only applied during a two-week trial run, one which briefly made the company the largest publisher in the world, but one that was none too popular with young families. Credit the brand with attempting to improve its public image and introduce a new level of social responsibility, but that doesn't change the fact that replacing Happy Meal toys with nutrition books was essentially akin to giving out toothbrushes and dental floss instead of candy on Halloween, and we all hate hate those people. The Ronald McDonald Mask there is no question that Ronald McDonald reigns as one of the most recognizable mascots throughout the world, but even young fans of Ronald were surely disappointed to find a flimsy cardboard mask of his face in their Happy Meal. If it wasn't bad enough that kids couldn't do much to play with the mask, that it came complete with grease stains thanks to its proximity to the meal's burger and fries, the mask turned out pretty damn creepy. With raised eyebrows and eye holes that give the mask a soulless, dead feel, it looked like a horror movie version of Ronald McDonald that would haunt your children's dreams. Madame Alexander Dolls The business partnership between McDonald's and the American collectible dolls brand Madame Alexander has lasted for so long that it even spawned the marketing-driven 2008 marriage between Ronald and the titular Madame. Their nuptials not only made for odd corporate tie-in, but they spawned a creepy series of Happy Meal toys that, for some reason, Madame Alexander, the company, not the new Mrs. McDonald, based on The Wizard of Oz. After all, it's not like The Wizard of Oz was particularly relevant in 2008 so as to justify this rather unsettling toy collection. American Idol MP3 Player American Idol was already an overpowering pop culture phenomenon in 2007 before it entered into promotional partnership with McDonald's. Parents who bought their kids a Happy Meal at that time had likely already heard the Fox show's inescapable theme song over and over when their children were given an MP3 player that played exactly one song. Yup. You guessed it, the American Idol branded MP3 simply played the show's theme song on an endless loop, making for what surely was an agonizing car ride home. Halloween Pails Give a kid a box and they will instinctively look inside. It's a natural curiosity to open, uncover, and reveal, so it was no surprise when children get excited upon receiving a colorful, artsy, Halloween-themed pail as part of their Happy Meal. But as it was when they first developed the pail in 1986, and as it continues to be today, the pail is the toy, meaning that countless children are eagerly opening their container to reveal nothing inside. While decorative, the pails aren't exactly spacious either, leaving trick-or-treaters precious little room for candy. If you're McDonald's, you probably don't want kids to prefer a pillowcase to your Happy Meal toy. E.T. Posters Let's count the ways in which the inclusion of an E.T. poster as an 80s promotional tie-in with the legendary Steven Spielberg movie was a bad Happy Meal idea. First, there is the fact that including a poster in a Happy Meal box means folding it up into small segments and having it sit next to greasy fries. Second, a poster is probably the least fun way to handle a movie centered on a cute, beloved character. Finally, this promotion actually occurred twice. Once when the film was released, and once for no apparent reason three years later. McDonald's likely had tons of the posters stored away from the first campaign, and they were just looking to get rid of them. Ronald McDonald Sunglasses 
For those who wish to celebrate their love of the Golden Arches with a flying Ronald McDonald shooting out of their foreheads, McDonald's introduced its own brand of cheap sunglasses as a Happy Meal toy. Putting aside the fact that dining at Mickey D's may not be a stamp that everyone wants to wear proudly on their person, the ever-present, ever-looming Ronald offered a gaudy distraction for anyone they encounter. It also served to weigh down the glasses, making for an ill-fitting, uncomfortable, and awfully tacky experience. How delightful! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and on that little thumbs up button. If you like this video, we invite you to check out our good friends at The Taco for awesome list videos about shocking facts, celebrities, fashion, and random stuff. Thanks!